and gentlemen, entering the building, the pride of Bolton and Great Britain, the undefeated Amir Khan! An admirable young man in many ways, and here trying to show that he is improving once more as a fighter in his 11th professional contest, looking to move of knockouts with only three defeats. He comes to the ring this evening as the current super featherweight champion of France, presenting from Salon de Provence, France, Mohamed Medjaji. And opposing Amir Khan! Timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Nick White, and the star referee in charge of the action, Mr. Mark Green from London. Eight three minute rounds. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your instructions in the dressing room. Watch your heads, keep your punches on target. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. Eight threes. We saw at ringside there, Amir Khan's test match playing cousin, Saj. Saj, uh, who has played such an important part in the England team and their victory in those one-day internationals against the odds and here looking to cheer on his great uh, friend, relation and co-star in the Kevin Mitchell who stopped this guy in six rounds a couple of years ago here Khan may be looking to go one or two better than that and straight away you see he's not leaping around a good right hand well the first minute of the first round I don't think he's going to get up Mark Green's having a very close look at him and he's in rubber legs it's all over in the first round Amir Khan you can see some definite improvement right on cue Khan delivered I was going to say he's trying to plant his feet and deliver his punches with authority and the first one he throws oh what a shot it was Saj Mahmood his cricket playing cousin there's uh, Mahmood's dad on through a reaction shot drew the lead and just chopped it in fantastic finish you can't argue with that you cannot you cannot and he is going to go and he has star quality there is absolutely no denying it Absolutely superb shot. His detractors would say they want to see more, but at a very early stage, Joe Calzaghi said to Amir Khan, you don't get paid for overtime in this business. Well, certainly not, but, you know, I've got to emphasise that point again. Majaji was no mug, John. He'd been over here before. OK, he'd been beaten by Mitchell, but Mitchell took him six rounds. Mitchell's a good puncher, very bright prospect. Or from uh, this fight but I tell you what Majaji was absolutely out of it there in that opening round with that right hand Khan is looking for a world title shot before the end of the year and well he was uh, absolutely punched perfect there the first big one he threw and he gets win number 11 outstanding here's Michael Pass and here's the confirmation of a first round ladies stoppage and win. gentlemen after 55 seconds of round number one star referee mr mark green has called a halt to the action in his opinion mohammed medjaji was in no position to continue your winner and now undefeated in 11 professional contests still the pride of bolton and great britain there mixed up with Your the cheers for please. Amir Khan I think that's a little bit unfair Najaji is not a bad fighter believe me that one and Amir Khan I fight I train for that full eight rounds uh, I've been training hard for this fight uh, I've been doing a lot of sprints a lot of sparring and uh, coming in this fight knocking him, in the, knocking him out in the first round um, we didn't plan that I went in there and I caught him with a right hand and he just went no one has done that to, to him ever before Are you surprised you got him out of there so quickly yeah, I was catching with the jab and I can see him dropping his jab every time he was throwing it and I've got the speed so I threw it and I caught him right on the chin and I think once I caught it with the right hand I think it was the only right hand I threw in the fight as well and he dropped, yeah, he was just open for the shot, yeah. Is this a sign of your developing power? 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm a lightweight. Well, I'm a, I'm a lightweight. I am. I weighed in nine stone eight for my fight. Um, just the same as um, Majaja did. Um, and I'm making the weight a lot easier, you know what I mean? And I am powerful at lightweight. I'm a lightweight and I'm going to win world titles at lightweight as well. You don't want to stay in the ring a second longer than you have to. I think we can show you the, the end of the fight here. 45 uh, seconds it was. And the best punch you've thrown so far as a pro, what do you think? It is probably, yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, it's one of them things, you know what I mean? You're Actually, it's the whole fight. You can talk us through it. Yeah, you're not going to get paid for overtime. I, I can see him. Uh, as I jabbed him, you, you could see that he was off balance, his balance wasn't the best. So I was picking picking my shots, my hands were up as well. Um, I've been getting I've been getting criticised for my hands, so they've been up as well. And every time you could see his hand, his left hand was dropping. And uh, I seen his left hand dropping, I said I'm going to let my right hand go. And I timed it perfectly, and yeah, caught him with a good right hand, as you can see. It's coming up any moment. You knew he was dropping that left hand, yeah? Yeah, he was dropping that left hand, you know what I mean? He was slower than me. I could see every shot he was throwing. And I thought, I'll see, I'll wait, I'll take my time, I'll take my time, I'm not going to rush. And as he throws that shot and brings it back uh, below his chin, I'll just catch him. I think in my professional career, it was my best shot I've thrown, yeah. Just a couple of things I must say to you. There were one or two boos around this old Wembley arena. Did you hear them and do you sympathise with them at all? No, nah, that, doesn't, that doesn't get to me, you know what I mean? I know there's a lot of Graham Earl fans here and there's a lot of people who would have boxed me down in London, you know what I mean? I'm a champion, I'll fight anyone. Like I said to Frank, I'll fight anyone, Graham Earl, Kevin Mitchell, anyone. Um, and I'm sure if I hit any fighter at lightweight with that shot, they won't be standing up. You got a fantastic reception when you came to the ring. Uh, you're a special sportsman in this country. And have you got a date in a, in a big house next week, haven't you? Going to see the Queen? I am, yeah. I'm going down seeing the Queen. Uh, I'm an ambassador of NSPCC. So I'm going to go down there. And also I've got um, other things coming up. I'm doing a tune, uh, a music uh, tune with Judd Jules for the walking entrance that I'm going to keep. So yeah, I'm going to be busy. I'm going to keep on busy. And I'm going to still get back in the gym. I've only done one round here. I'm going to get back in the gym and work on different things. Okay, so, so next time you're coming to your own music, will you? Is that right? That's right, yeah. Next time I come in the ring, it's my own music. Okay. Okay. Hey, listen, well done. We're going Thank to talk to your much. cousin to Sajma Moon in just a moment. Let's